I'm still overwhelmed, like I couldn't really believe it when they were counting down the restaurants and Mr. Wong hadn't even been announced yet until the top 10. And it just makes it even more humbling and satisfying that these awards were voted by your own peers. It really shows that I'm doing something right. If other chefs and restaurateurs are voting for your restaurant, you know, and just to come inside the top 10 alongside world-class restaurants like Bray and Sepia and Atikura and stuff like that, it's pretty awesome. She's definitely one of my biggest mentors for sure to this day because you know she always has a bit of advice in terms of the flavour and the texture of certain dishes and I go to her house still like every Monday night for dinner and she just cooks up you know the most delicious Vietnamese home cooked meal. I mean it really is the highlight of my week when I go. In terms of cooking, it's definitely chefs like Brent Savage, Mark Best, they've really moulded me as a chef. Also, one of my mentors is Frank Roberts. He's the food and beverage director at Maryvale and he's really guided me to uh, really know about the ins and outs of running your own restaurant and not just cooking, but the other side of things. I like to think of my style as the type of food that you, you want to eat all the time. I don't want to put myself in this pigeonhole where diners go, oh, I don't feel like eating that today, or I feel like I have to go there on a special occasion. I want people to come to my places and feel that they can eat there every day. I just want to be that whole package where people feel comfortable eating my food, having fun, drinking good wine, and just having a great time. This is just sort of like my play on just a really casual, perfect dish for like a hot summer day in, in Australia. And you know, I just decided to do my own umami-ish take on salsa verde by using different types of seaweed like salted kombu and wakame and adding the same ingredients as salsa verde like capers and anchovies. And it, it can really go with anything, go with steak, seafood, even tofu if you wanted to. But I thought it really go well with some grilled prawns. That scallops dish is sort of my take on, you know, the classic Chinese dish of steamed fish with ginger and shallots, but I thought I'd make a sashimi version out of it, and in place of the fish, we just use some raw scallops. Sort of like a cross between um, Indonesian nasi goreng and a Spanish paella. It's very Ms. G's in style, where Ms. G's is all about not really having any rules when it comes to cooking. There's nothing better than a nasi goreng with a fried egg too, sunny side up. Sort of my uh, version of a Thai beef salad, but in a carpaccio style, so really punchy flavours like lemongrass and lime leaf, Thai fish sauce type of dressing and, and just using really good beef. Yeah, really summery, nice dish. The signature dishes at Mr. Wong. I think Aussies especially have that affiliation with crumb cutlets growing up as kids. So this is a Chinese version of it using a really delicious fennel and cumin salt. Um, yeah.